I lost my mind. I really lost my mind. I really lost my mind. Like, have you lost your mind? And what I mean by lost my mind is, <sighs> I almost went crazy. I almost went crazy. But see, I saved myself. I started believing in the Lord. I started believing in God's word. I started doing all the things that I didn't do. I was always afraid to be different. Oh, it's not going to work. Oh, I tried so many things. Why would this work? What I didn't know is I had to lose my mind. I had to gain another mind. I had to have a new mind. I had to have the mind that God wanted me to have. Let's go to the word. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. At one point in time, we all are a part of this world. Meaning we all have some level of ignorance. We all, all of us, even me, were engaged with wickedness. And we all participated in bad morals. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's how it starts. But it's not going to finish like that. It can't finish like that. See, God changed me. God had me encounter a lot of things and had me see. Once I started seeking God, though, he was always there, but I didn't see him. I didn't see him. And so once I got rid of my old mind and lost my old mind, I gained a new mind. Mm. If I would have had my same mind, I would have been in the same place. There's no way that God was going to bless me if I stayed in the same mind and the same mentality that I used to have, conformed to this world. If it wasn't for the transformation and the renewal of my mind, I would be stuck. I would be somewhere in a mental hospital. I would be somewhere begging someone to help me, crying. You know, they say 80% of the people that you tell them your problem don't care. And 20% of the people that you tell your problems are glad that you have it. They don't care. They don't care about you. They don't even care about their self. They don't care about the Lord. And it's not their fault. See, they didn't take initiative to what God was trying to tell them. They didn't see the signs, wonders, and miracles in their face. Mm. It's not easy. And it's not easy because it's something that you're not used to. But being a leader is a lonely road. Transforming your mind is a hard thing to do when you don't want it. But when you want it, you'll do anything. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? I always heard that something worth waiting for is worth it. Or something that takes a long time to get is worth it. And it's true. But it won't take that long when you believe. It won't take that long when you see the blessings and you count everything as a blessing just like it is. And you begin to have this gratitude and just see more and more and more blessings. And people wonder why people are blessed. Because they kept on going. They didn't stop. They believed in the Lord. They believed in what Jesus said. They believed in the word. They believed and they had faith. You have to be called by the most high to actually get put out of this world. You have to be called. Many are called and few are chosen. The few that are chosen are the ones who are willing to go through what it is that the Lord wants them to go through. I surrendered. I said, you know what? Take me, Lord. I have been used by the devil. Why not let you use me? Why not help somebody? Because at that one point in time in my life, I needed help and God sent somebody. God will send somebody and he will send you. <laughs> Just like he sent his son, Jesus. He sent his only begotten son to die for our sins. So that we wouldn't have to go through what Jesus went through. So that we wouldn't have to go through everything that we was about to go through if God didn't cut us no slack. Y'all just don't know. Now we're able to repent and ask for forgiveness. Hello. Now you're a spiritual minded individual. As you seek the word, as you trust God, as you have faith, you can still be the same you, but you have to change the bad things. I'm the same me, my same heart, my same goals. I may have changed my desires a little bit. 
all the desires that the Lord don't want me to have. Yes. May, may have changed my appearance a little bit. But my heart is a heart of God now. I walked away from the music. I walked away from the industry. And I followed the most high. A lot of people may think. Oh, they kicked her to the curb. Sometimes they will. But they didn't kick me to the curb. I kicked myself to the curb. I said, you know what? I, it's something better for me. I knew it in my heart. Just like you do. You know that there's something out there for you. You just haven't seen it yet. You know something is telling you like, what's waiting for me? God said that he's waiting for you. And I always encourage everybody who looks at this channel that God is waiting for you. And that's just so blessed to have someone waiting for you to sit right there on the throne beside him. To give you the blessings that he wants to give you. I don't care how it sounds like. I don't care how easy or fake it sounds like it's the truth. Because God is the truth. And the truth will set you free. Blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the seat of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Mm. My message to you is, whoever is listening to this, God is saying, all the people who makes you relative to your same lifestyle, you got to get away from them. Anybody leading you astray, having you do things you shouldn't be doing. And you know deep down in your soul that it's hurting you as a person. Then you got to stop walking with those people. You got to walk with the Lord. Stop walking with the sinners. 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 So if you're under the sound of my voice, the Lord says to you, change your life. Change your life. Change your life and change your mind. Amen. Bless you.